and welcome. Today we are looking at how to make money selling sheep. This is the first in the how to make money series which I'm going to do. I did it on Farming Simulator 17 so we're going to do the, have a look at it on 19. So I've set up a couple of sheep pastures and this one's ready got a few sheep in the back I'm gonna put that in put the dialogue I'll tell you what let's put the help menu on so we can see what's going on so we open that we've got six here we're gonna move them in they're in easy as that dialogue all you do is move them from one place to the other side and confirm easy easy right so this is the large um, sheep pasture it costs 180 grand so we've got 250 sheep in the large one um, the cost for maintaining it are 180 pounds a day now to fill it up you do need 40,000 litres of grass or hay doesn't matter which and water on this one was I think that was let's have, let's have a look in the menu here we go so in the large sheep we got waters 50,000 and the hay well we'll put a little bit more in it go, is 120,000 on that and then on the smaller one you got 16,000 water and 40,000 on the hay so bearing in mind bales are 4,000 each so this one's going to take you 10 bales and the other one's going to take you at least 30 bales right so we're going to set up just running for 24 hours and see what we make because i've got the two set up now i'm using the conveyors because we're going to use this to keep it all clean so unfold turn on belt and that should keep everything clean you can leave that running yep and then keep that clean keep it going we need to top it up with grass so I will unload this now you have got to be careful because you do lose grass here where you can see there is 102,000 I've got eight bales on which are all in all 32,000 but I only need like 17,500 to fill it up but when you unload they all gone all of them are gone so be careful of that tell the light look at that it's 125,000 well we still lost a little bit anyway because there was uh, 32,000 on there we've set that up let's get rid of that now water over there I've got the water storage now that's available in the shop under miscellaneous and it's quite easy you just plonk it down a nice level area or it well it levels it off same thing again though you've got to watch placing it because where you place it the price does fluctuate you can see it's like 13,000 let me come over let's go up here a little bit yeah two and a half thousand five thousand it's a lot 16,000 there wherever you buy you've got to be careful where you place it because it does cost money if it's not a flat area uh, with the grid snapping you put push down the r3 and if it's like it's there it, it won't go if you do it and it goes green hold down the r1 button sorry not r3 r1 button and it you can place it there it places it for you but we're not going to do that because we've got one over here otherwise you can get water from any of the um I've, I've used a couple i used the one down the bottom end of the map and got water from there no problem when you're getting water out of here as well it doesn't cost you anything so it's free which is nice the only thing is it's slow it's really really slow to fill up so you just leave it there and go off to the next thing right so that is the large one set up you can see it's all green everything's in the green we got no pr productivity because we're not going to bother for the first 24 hours no we will actually if i'm going to take 
um, we will take five out and go from there same with this one over here because I've got a couple of pens set up so we can as we're we're making money we can fill the pens up as we go so if we go and take two out two and put them into the trailer it means we will have a reproduction rate because if you haven't if capacity is reached then I'll tell you what we need to do this into the trailer because otherwise it will sell it and we'll pay for it right what is going on there we go so we put I think we'll put uh, five in there so it leaves us with 245 in the pen so go back to the pen yep yeah, 245 in there so as as we're reproducing now as they come out we, if it as soon as it gets 250 I will put them in there so any profit we will see in there I will actually go and sell those now let's just go and sell these because there's only down here now the sheep to buy are 1500 each plus you pay the transportation fee which this is why I've set it up here so you don't need to pay the transportation fee you just bring it down here and it's here so we move scroll scroll over this is glitching out it keeps flashing I don't know why it's doing that notes there we go it's working now so we click onto the right side and that is basically putting it over to the left side which is the animal dealer click on confirm and they're gone five grand so you buy them for 1500 and you make you sell them for a thousand which is not great really but what can you do it is what it is so the setup costs are a little little bit but I think at the moment you are better off doing the larger one because um, compared to the smaller pasture it is only 65 grand and it holds 80 so we leave that there let's go over to the one at the top here it costs 65 pounds maintenance a day and we've set up the same thing get the conveyor on and that will just keep that clean all the way we've got the water point on the same side which is round here easy enough that's full so we don't need to worry about that and then right there I've got the loading see it's not much compared to the large and small they're pretty similar really then we go over to this is where the wool so we're going to see how much wool we're going to make and what we're going to do with these for the time being is just move them I think we just move them out of the way put them over there so anything new well a bit too far yeah we'll, we'll push them right out of the way anyway we don't need them for what we're doing right so that's the small one and the small one's ready to go it's a little bit low on the hay and the bit of cleanliness but I think that's just sorted itself out I've got one bale here now when you're placing it in all you, all you do is drop it on the ground we used to put it in the troughs and it disappear but now it doesn't so you just drop it on the ground it disappears yeah we've got a little bit there I don't know where to manoeuvre let's leave that there and hopefully that will uh, work so cleanliness should be yeah well that will probably climb back up in a minute on the large and the small so we're ready to go apart from the wool I've just got to clear out the wool on the large one let's see what I mean the large they are I think that they are identical you just got more sheep in them well I don't even think you can see much more sheep it's just the same now these we push off to the other way because I've got the trailer ready for loading
because I'll sell them diff separately because I want to see what we earn out of each one see how many sheep we generate because so it's all about for making money with sheep it's selling the wool which used to be very very profitable and selling the sheep so we will find out so I think that's everything set up so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward time and I will keep an eye on this large one so we don't fill up because these are all empty now so whatever we're left with in the trailer is going to be profit so it's 13.40 now so we do just over 24 hours and I will see you back in a moment Right oh, that's done 24 hours later and we have generated not a great deal well in the small one let's go up to the sheep enclosure first the small sheep pasture in 24 hours we generated this that is all we have there and we have a total of one sheep now on the large one we got a few more in that and a hell of a lot more wood so it seems to be there's no point doing a small one because you don't generate hardly anything and well we will see what the cost of this is so it's one sheep which is a thousand pound plus the cost of that so let's take we'll take this whoa camera glitch way oh, I was off then there's a bit of weight on here though whoa now coming over to the large pen you can see there's a mountain we've got a mountain of wool in here so hopefully that's going to be some decent money and sheep wise we have six I think in the back here five I think there's one more to come in yeah two four six uh, with the sheep I let it get 250 and then I just put the five in and the other one I just left it as it was because it only generated one sheep anyway now we didn't use much grass because we had 125,000 for the large pen so it's about 12,000 um, water was about 8,000 and generating animals every four hours so you're better off with a large one no matter what uh, this one the small one we've used what 4,000 of hay uh, we had 16,000 water so we've used just what two and a half thousand of that and you're having your animals in 12 hours so quite a lot of time to wait for animals so there's no point generating them like that so on this pen we're gonna make six thousand pound for selling those but first of all we will go down because i don't think we're going to be able to hook this up this all up it's a bit tight around here but you never know oh you can will it pull it oh it will pull it but I've got to go down this hill. It's so going to topple. I have to move that one. I think we're going to have to take something. We might be able to do it. Let's get this out of the way. Right, well I will see you at the spinnery in a minute and we'll see how much we get for the two loads. As you can see the comparison is a bit ridiculous compared to the small pen, uh, the large one, it was just kicking out. These bundles, they were, oh I've got it stuck, these bundles, some of them 
um, first of all it was generating about 9,000 litres each and um, and so I loaded them up and then the maximum it went to was 19,000 uh, litres so we will see hopefully we'll get a nice income on this so whoa that is a huge glitch see you there at the spinnery in a minute Right, so we are at the spinnery and we will do the first load. This one, I think, do we just drive in? I think we've got to tip it, haven't we? And I can't tip that. I just thought, we'll have to be, oh, it will come off. We can slide it off. Come on. The brakes aren't very good. There's one gone, 60. That's not a help. Fold car, unfold car, no. Come on, get out of there. I think I'm better off hitting it against that wall. And that's 940, so a thousand, it was a thousand litres, and that's what we got. Don't know where that bale came from. I keep finding random stuff around the map, it's really weird. Anyway, right, we're going on to the, the huge load. Now, hopefully, this will just sell without a problem. Nine thousand one hundred and sixty two, three thousand, what about the rest? That was another four. Now the prices are at the spinnery uh, 940 for a thousand is what we're going to be selling for. Right, we should be able to see that as sold wool. Sold wool, there it is, 20,000 pounds for that. So you generate 20,000 a day plus 6,000 in sheep as well so you're better off just go for the large one it's a lot more outlay but if you're going to do sheep then you're going to do sheep you might as well do enough of them uh, no point messing around is there okay so there we have it that is how you make money selling sheep so every 24 hours you will generate six sheep and you will generate 20,000 uh, well, it's 19,000 actually, because that total was the other thousand for the small sheep pasture, which there's no point even bothering with, really. Okay, well, make sure you check out the rest in this series, which will be um, upcoming up over the weekend, uh, next few days, basically. There'll be more on how to make money. 
Alright, thanks for watching. Till the next time, goodbye. <laughs>